welcome to this platform so in this video let us answer this question and as we can see the question is coming from non metal and the focus is on carbon as the question reads the following diagram shows two forms of carbon p and q then a name the allotrope labeled p and q name the allotrope labeled p and q so to name these p and q you know that allotrope is just molecules that consist of atoms of one element but having different structure and geometric shape. As you can see, the shapes are different. So carbon exists in two forms. So this first one is called diamond and the second one is graphite. The first one is diamond, the second one is graphite and therefore P here is diamond. Then of course this one is graphite. Now under each of these you should know the characteristics of diamond. You should know the characteristics of uh, diamond or properties of diamond and also of graphite. Now focusing on diamond. Diamond is very hard. That is one of the uh, property. That is physical property. So diamond is very hard and for this reason it is used in making of a bowling tools. Then also it is colorless and transparent with a dazzling, a brilliant uh, luster. So it also has a density of uh, 3.5 gram cubic uh, centimeter. It does not conduct electricity. So those are the physical properties of a uh, diamond. And of course the other thing that you should know under this one, what is the use of diamond so that one be able to put in the comment section and everyone will be able to learn so what are the uses of diamond now we shift our attention to graphite what about graphite what are the properties of uh, graphite what are the properties of graphite so graphite is a good conductor of electricity and the question might be why is graphite the good conductor of electricity and not diamond now, if you look at the way the carbon, uh, the bonds uh, are in, carbon, in uh, graphite, three of electrons are bonded, one electron remains uh, free or is freely moving, so that is what you call a delocalized electron. And for that, it can carry charge, making a graphite the good conductor of electricity. So, in other words, graphite is a good conductor of electricity because of the freely moving electron in between the layers of uh, carbon atoms. Then now, aside from that, it is soft and slippery, and for this for this reason, it is used in making of um, it is used in making of uh, rubricants. Okay, it can write well, and therefore, graphite is used in making of pencils. It has a high melting and boy, it has a high melting point, and this is because of a strong bond between carbon, carbon, uh, uh, that is atoms. So those are some of the basics. So those are some of the oh, that is some of the information that you need uh, to know on each, even as you go uh, through uh, this. Now back to the questions. One of the question is what is an uh, what are allotropes? So, I've already defined allotropes at some point, but anyway, we can say molecules of, that is molecules that consist, molecules that consist, consist of atoms, atoms of, atoms of one element atoms of one element but different structure and geometric shape so what we call arotro for example carbon and graphite no, not carbon and graphite, please. Diamond and graphite. A allotrope of carbon. What type of bonding is represented by these forms of carbon? So the type of bond here is covalent bond. Because carbon and carbon are bonded. And those are non-metals. Or that is a non-metal. 
So it's a non-metal to non-metal bond. Then D, which allotrope named in A has a physical property which is of a typical metal? Now, a typical metal conduct electricity. So, in other words, which of these two conduct electricity? So, it is a uh, Q. Not P, please. It is a Q. State the physical property of... State the physical property. So, this property of a typical metal. So, it conduct electricity and heat. Or oh, good conductors, good conductor, we can just say good conductor of electricity and heat. That is the property of a typical metal. All right, I guess you've picked something here. So please, uh, that is where we get to end. And please, if you've not subscribed to this YouTube channel, consider doing so. If you are seeing this from TikTok, don't forget to give it um, a like. If you're watching this from Facebook, don't forget to follow me. Otherwise, more content uh, coming. In the case of those that are writing exams, preparing for the exams, we offer intensive online and physical lessons. So for online lessons, you can get in touch on the numbers 0976 402563. Physical lessons we are found in Lusaka, that is Kawata area, just near Kawata Primary School. So if you stay in that area, you can come through uh, for lessons. Also, we offer... IGCSE Cambridge. If you are writing IGCSE Cambridge, also you are free to join us. The subject offered, we have math, that is for online. Math, physics, chemistry, biology. These are the subjects offered. Otherwise, we can end here and see you in the next one.